Hey folks, this is Ardwolf. I thought I'd do a quick little video bringing you uh, my current wargaming adventure. At uh, Origins this year, I picked this guy up, Fortress Europa from Avalon Hill. This is a game I owned back in the day but never played. Pretty sure I never even punched it. Um, I got it for five bucks. Very happy with that. It was punched, but it was only strip punched, so I'm slowly going through it using the counter sheet scans on Board Game Geek to verify that all the counters are actually here. So far, I have gone through the markers and the Germans, I, I, I should say the entire axis, and they're all complete. Um, but we have returned, after all these years, unexpectedly to the joy that is Avalon Hill's die cutting. Um, so you see a lot of it. I don't know if you'll be able to make this out or not. See if I can find a good example where the die didn't really go all the way through to the bottom of the counter sheet. So I've had several of these that I have had to cut off, like right there, that one. You can see that there's like no, this comes away, as you can see, badly, but it comes away. Uh, but on the flip side, there's basically no die cut all the way to the bottom. So you got to cut these out, unless you want them sloppy, in which case, tear away. Um, I don't, I'm super OCD about this stuff, so as you can see, because I clip my corners too, um, you pretty much have to cut these off the uh, off the strips with a craft knife. So the technique for this is not complicated, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Uh, pretty much have a utility knife, so I'm just going to zip the tabs. And of course Avalon Hill, which was owned by their printer basically, uh, so uh, they pretty much did all their printing and die cutting internally, so they have nobody but themselves to blame for this. Um, now what you'll see sometimes, and I have one here that this happened with, and I've already repaired it, what you'll see sometimes is that the paper, usually on the bottom, will start to split away from the, the counter. And I just use this stuff to fix that counter by counter as it comes up. Of course, through play, you know, you'll wear the counters, and sometimes that'll happen as well. This guy was one of those where the, the backing was just coming off. So I just, uh, tiny, tiny dab of glue, put it in there, just kind of rub it off, dries clear so it's no problem and it pretty much will outlast the, the game. So, uh, I don't know if this was informative to you or not. I might hope so, but uh, stay tuned. We may have some more uh, Wargaming videos coming up in the near future. Thanks for watching.